the twenty-third letter of the Thai alphabet, Tho Tha Han. Tho Tha Han. Tho is the first part, which is the sound it makes as an initial consonant or starting sound. Tho has the first tone. It has the same sound and same tone with Tho Mon Tho and Tho Pu Tao. The seventeenth and the eighteenth letter of the Thai alphabet we've already learned, and of course it has an equivalent sound in English, which is the English T, T, like the word two. Tahan is the second part, which is the vocabulary or word associated with the letter. Tahan has the fourth and the fifth tone, respectively. And the word tahan means soldier, military person, or warrior. And of course, just like the words we've already learned so far, the word tahan is a generic term or a non-specific term for soldier, which means if you want to be more specific, you need to add an adjective after the word. Tahan. For instance, in the armed forces of Thailand, there are three main branches of the military, and those are Tahan Bok, Tahan Bok, in which the word Bok means dry or land. Therefore, Tahan Bok means army. The second branch is. Tahan r u a Tahan r u a in which the word r u a means boat or ship. Therefore, the word Tahan r u a means navy. And the last branch is Tahan a g a d Tahan a g a d in which the word a g a d means air or atmosphere. Therefore, the word Tahan a g a d means Air Force, and those are the three main branches of the military in Thailand: Tahan Bok, Tahan r u a and Tahan a g a d But if you want to talk about a soldier, a military member, or a warrior in general with no specification, you can just say the word Tahan, which should be enough for people to understand what you mean. Okay, let's try to pronounce t o t a h a n together. t o t a h a n t o t a h a n t o t a h a n Okay, now it's time to write t o t a h a n together. When you look at the letter t a t a h a n it looks somehow very familiar, and if you think that way, you're right. It is very similar to t a m o n t o the seventeenth letter of the Thai alphabet we've already learned. The only difference between the two is that t a m o n t o has a notch, and t a t a h a n doesn't have a notch. So I guess t a t a h a n is a bit easier for you to write. So let's start. You start from the circle, go clockwise, go down, make a sharp angle, and then go up slightly to the right. Make a turn, kind of like a sharp angle, and then go down again. Okay, let's try that again. So you start from a circle, go clockwise, go down, make a sharp angle, go up slightly to the right, make a turn, and then go down. And that's how to write t a t a h a n in Thai. And that's it for t a t a h a n Next, we have t a t o n g